Until we drive in here. Hello. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. This obviously you're talking to Gary and actually my wife, an executive producer of Animal Talking, uh, Leah, is here in the chat as well. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Um. Just uh, okay. I just want to make sure that that, that no imposters have have jumped into the stream. This is Elijah, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Hello, Elijah. And I, as I, you know, I hope I haven't ambushed you, but you are live on Animal Crossing Mornings right now, which is my morning show. Uh, please say hello. Please say hello to our wonderful audience. Hello, everyone. Uh, everyone, this is uh, Elijah Wood, um, who is a uh, um, uh, a future guest on the show. He's actually booked for Thursday night. I'm very excited. About I'm. I, honestly, I could not be more excited to have you on. Um, Thank you. Uh, Gary, where are you from? What's that accent? Is that are you Australian? I'm originally. You know what? Every everyone gets it wrong because um, ah. those two accents are kind of sister accents, and I've lived in America half my life, and it's done weird things to my accent. But I'm originally yeah. from London, England. Oh, okay, okay. Well, there you go. It's lovely to have you here. I'm so glad that this sound, the, the sound check, uh, the sound check thing uh, worked out, and I'm excited to have you over to the island. You should, you should come by and, and visit the set. I'm doing that right now. You should, if you don't already have a dodo code. Uh, do you have it? I think I sent you a five-digit code. Do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, po so, so pop over um, uh, any time, and uh, it'd be great <clears> to have <throat> you over here. I am at the airport now. Poke around, have, uh, poke around the island. Um, how long did it take you to build your island? You know, I've been playing every single day since the game came out. I got to tell you, Elijah, I don't know how this has been for you, but like, man, this game came out at just the right time. Um, yeah. Uh, my, my wife and I have a seven-year-old daughter, and, you know, as much as you love your family, sometimes you can, you know, when you're all locked up together, can start to get on each other's nerves a little bit. And sure. But when the game came out, the mood in the house just lifted instantly. Like, every, it just put a smile on everyone's face. Yeah. Um, it's been wonderful. How's it been for you? Um, it's been good. Yeah, it's been good. We we um my my lady and I had our first child in September, so Oh, wow, congratulations. Thank you. So this has been kind of almost like extended maternity leave in a way, which has been really lovely actually. Is this coming over coming over right now? Uh yes. Okay. Do you mind if I tweet this? I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but it's kind of cool to have you here on the show. Sure, yeah, cool. Okay, what's your Twitter handle? Uh, it's just my name, at Elijah Wood. Just Elijah Wood? Okay. Yeah. Give me one second here. Uh, 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 uh. You're going to be, I think, until, until AO, you, you might, so you, I think when you come on the show on Thursday, you're going to be the biggest guest we've had on the show. And I think you're going to, I think you're going to keep that title until, until AOC does it. When is AOC doing it? That's I'm so talking to her people crazy. right now. You know, there's going to be a lot to work out, I'm sure, because she's kind of a big deal. Uh, but we'll get it working. We'll, 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 she wants to do it, and I wanted to do it, so we'll figure it out. That is incredible. Oh. Hold on. It's amazing the reach that this game has. has oh my know? god, it's incredible. I mean, the game is having like forget the talk show. The game is having like a cultural moment right now. Like yeah, absolutely. Really? Uh, yeah, the, the timing, like you were saying, is is sort of perfect. You know, it, it's the it's it's become a thing that that has been really useful i think for people in lockdown it's it's very zen too you know there's oh absolutely this, and, and this by the way the conversation we're having right now is exactly you know what we'll talk about on the show when you're on like, oh. it's just to be a, a chill conversation about animal crossing i will of course fulfill the talk show social contract with you and ask if you've got anything to plug which you're welcome to do but i just want to sure. talk about the game with you yeah, man, that's that's the that's the fun stuff. And you're probably you're wait, your island is great. You're far more advanced. Oh, did you just get here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I was looking at my other screen. Give me one second here. All right, where's your um, talk show set? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and get you. And let me tell you something. That's another service we provide. Do you think Do you think Conan's gonna pick you up from the airport? I don't think so. I that's, only only we provide that level of service to our guests. How do um, you start? Um, when did when, what sparked the idea of building a late night talk show set and then deciding you're going to host a late night talk show in Animal Crossing? You know, everyone, I, I like how you kind of turn the tables on me here, Elijah, and interviewing me. This is, this is in, usually, usually, usually I'm the host uh, and, you're, and you're the guest, but we have you the other way around right now. Well, okay, where are you in the game right now? Let me come find you. Uh, let's see. Right, Where'd you go? You're not, by the way, I only have two rules when, when, um, when you're on this island. Don't touch my turnips. Very serious about that. Here he is, Elijah Wood, everybody. Hello. 
Hello, thank you. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get a selfie. Hold on, I gotta get a little selfie here. Um, uh, let's grab. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, you're you're got a cute your, your, your avatar. I don't know if you met if you intended it to, but your avatar is a pretty good likeness. Uh, I did intend it to. Yeah. You've done a good job. So to answer your question, I was just goofing around in my basement, and come 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 join me in my lovely home. Um. So when you guys are done looking at the set, if you're yes. interested, Tutu up in the top left corner is crafting a log table. Oh, you, you want to get a DIY. you want to get a DIY you want to go get a DIY, Elijah? And maybe get something new. Uh, I've got the log table already. Oh, you do? Okay. Do. So yeah, so what happened was so this is my living room. So everyone plays the game differently, right? Like my wife Leah, she wants to have a lovely island. Um, Actually, and Elijah, I'm going to ask you for a favor. I, 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 you know, I don't want this to turn into a thing, and it's really not going to. But I do have one other person who would love to say hello. Uh, Kate Stark, who's a very popular streamer and a good friend of mine. She loves Animal Crossing. She loves you. She's actually our stylist on the show. She's the one who dresses me for the show, picks out all my outfits. Would you oh, mind if she dropped into the Discord for like 10 seconds and just said hello? And then she, and I promise you she'll leave you alone. She's not a creepy stalker or anything. That is fine. Kate, jump into the Discord and say hello. But be nice. Please, please be respectful. You've got major celebrities here. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if she, I, she, I, I, she might, I think she's probably like frantically jumping out of bed right now. <laughs> running to get to her Discord because I've totally ambushed her. Um, so, yeah, so everyone wants to, everyone, I don't know, but again, we'll talk about it on the show. But like, I, I want to have a nice house. Like Leah uh, built a really yeah. nice island um, and I built a nice house. So this is my very nice living room. Um, let me show you my very office. Cool. Come over here. Yeah. So this is actually, I'm working on turning this into a green room. I've already painted it green, but you know, we need, we need to do a bit more than that. I gotta get to find a way to put some, some folding tables with like snacks and hors d'oeuvres and things out here. Um, but right now this is like my private, this is my private office. Um, I love it. And, um, hold on a second. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna, work, we're gonna work on turning this into a, okay, Kate's here. Hello, Kate, Try, control Hi. yourself. I'm, I'm fine. I ran, but I'm fine. Elijah, this is my friend Kate. Kate, this is Hello, my new Kate, friend Elijah. I'm doing well, Elijah. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Welcome to Animal Talking. Thank you. Kate does actually work on the show. She is our stylist. She's listed in the credits. She's she's legit. I can vouch for her. I appreciate the vouch, Gary. Thank you. I give you a, give, give give you an official vouch, and I don't vouch for vouch for just anyone, you know. Um, so. Gary, uh, iteration of animal crossing were you an animal crossing fan my wife was she was actually i don't know about you but like she was hardcore into the gamecube version she was playing the oh, 3ds yeah. version which was a big deal um i i, I, I pr prior to this for me all i played was pocket camp which is the iphone game but i played right. i was really into that for a while and then when this came out you know, we all kind of got it together. Like we all got our own, uh, like my wife has our own Switch. She actually bought that really cool Animal Crossing Switch that you can't get anywhere. Um, okay, okay. And my wife has the Switch, and my daughter has the Switch Lite. Oh, by the way, if you need to use the facilities, you know, they're, they're back here. Um, wow, it's a very nice bathroom. Yeah, I, we, we've been working on this as well. We have a lot, a lot of time into this. Um, well, just watch out for Kate, because last time I was in the bathroom, she walked in on me. Oh yeah, that, that was, was very accidental? awkward. That was very <laughs> awkward. I, there was no door. I should have knocked. I, I apologize. <laughs> it was awkward. Um, and so I, I just I discovered it. Uh, really, this is the first Animal Crossing game that I'd say I've been like hardcore into. What What about you? Like, what's your Animal Crossing history? Um, I I played a little bit with the GameCube version. Um, right. That's the OG. But, yeah. But only only a little bit. Like I had friends that were super into it. And back then, you couldn't travel to other people's islands unless you right. copied your file to a memory stick and then plugged it into somebody else's GameCube. Leah, you way. remember all this, right? Yeah. And I think you could you, you would take a train, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you did. You it was a train, train. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rover was on there sometimes. Right. Uh, Elijah, come into it. the kitchen. I've got a lovely espresso machine. Come, come get yourself a cup of coffee. Kitchen's to the right of the living room. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. What oh yeah, well, this iron, I, I keep saying that they need to link up with Ikea and do like an actual range of ironwood furniture because I love this ironwood stuff. Oh, they really do. I love this too. This is awesome. Oh yeah. 
nice espresso machine. Oh, you got a little hand grinder there in the corner. That's lovely. So Elijah, would, I, I definitely want to talk to you about this on the show, but I'm curious just to ask ask you about this now. We'll, we'll get into it again on Thursday. So we may end up having this conversation twice, but like, um, you know, you kind of you kind of made a little viral moment when you uh, uh, went over to someone's island to get a good turnip price, and you and, and it was not so much that you went over there; it's just that you were so unfailingly lovely and polite that like you, you actually generated a lot of news headlines. Did you did you expect that to happen? I did not expect it. No, I just <laughs> wanted to sell more turnips. You just wanted <laughs> to sell those. I mean, you like me? Turnips yeah. rule everything around me. I've got to get that to the. I'll go anywhere for a good turnip price. Same. Uh, so yeah, no, it wasn't. I, I wasn't motivated by any, I had no idea that it would garner any attention. I just simply right. was like, okay, people are posting on Twitter their their turnip prices. Right. DM somebody with a really good price. And <clears throat> I just DM'd that girl named Jessa. And yeah. she was like, sure, I'm over. And that's- I that's think, cool. you know, I kind of feel like it's a win-win, right? Because you get a good turnip price and she gets to freak out that Elijah Wood is hanging out on her island and picking flowers and being very nice. It, well, it definitely worked out for me. Uh, I sold a lot of turnips at a high price. Oh, it's it's. I, 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 I'm telling you, I don't. I'll go anywhere. I don't. I don't ask for references or anything. I'll go to anyone's island if they've got a turn good turnip price. That's all I need to I, know. I know. Uh, feel free to feel free price. to make yourself an espresso while you're here. I do appreciate that you asked permission to shake trees for fruit, because there's a I, lot of people who would come by and just steal. I don't understand that. I sort of feel like you're on somebody else's land. Why would you not ask them permission to, you know, take from their land? I, I, I mean, I, you know, I feel like you're a guest in someone else's house and you should behave that yeah. way. Exactly. Unlike my friend Mary Kish from Twitch, who after she appeared on the show, ran around shaking my money trees, stealing my money and then bragging about it on my message board. See, that's, <laughs> I like Mary and that's still just rude. It's rude. And we've got serious beef now. Um, so let me take you down, Elijah. Let me take you. Down. Oh, actually, uh, I'm not going to take this in my bedroom because I don't want things to get weird. But let me, let me, um, let me take you down to the set. This is where it all happens. Oh yeah. Is that in your basement? Um, yes. It's very Wayne's World. It all, all happens in the basement. Have you been watching the show at all? Are you aware of what you're getting into here? Cool. No, I've actually yeah. not seen an episode yet. Okay. Well, you're 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 in very good hands now. You, I mean, you've been on actual real. And I'm, I, I, I always fall into this trap. This is a real talk show. There's nothing. There's nothing less real than this one, than the Tonight yeah. Show. But you've been on like you know your actual physical body has been on on late night talk shows, and if you've done them, you've done this one. It's the same thing. I have a monologue. We bring out guests. We have musical guests. We have stand up comedy. We do celebrity interviews, and. Um, it's going to be just like this. You're going to sit on the couch right here. I'm going to be in the host chair. We're going to talk about, um, I'm, and I'm happy to talk about your projects or anything you want to do. But like, I, I want you here because you're a genuine Animal Crossing player. And that's, that's they're, they're my kind of people. That's who we want on the show. That's awesome. This is so cool. I know. People, I, my, the best compliment that I got, Elijah, was um, I have a friend by the name of Mike Drucker. And he's a very talented comedy writer. And he comes yeah. from the real world of late night comedy. He used to write for SNL. Mm -hmm. He used to write Fallon's monologues for The Tonight Show, The Real Tonight Show. Oh, wow. And when he came down the stairs here, he was like, this is like being back in my old job. And that's like the best compliment that I could have received. That's incredible, man. Yeah. We worked, you know. More authentic than that. That's amazing. Yeah. And it's been a real, it's been a real collaboration. Like, you know, I, to put this together, you know, we started with the desk and the couch. But then when people saw what we were doing, because I was kind of messing around with this basement down here live on stream. Um, People were, uh, I like would start getting in the mail. Like, here's a here's a drum kit. Like, here's a studio light. Like, here's stuff that would work great on your set. So we kind of we kind of crowdsourced this set, um, and it's and we've got all kinds of little. Um, this whole thing really is kind of like a love letter to late night talk shows. Uh, yeah. like we've, got, we've got a golf bag back here that's kind of like a nod to Johnny Carson. Oh, here comes oh, yeah. Leah. Uh, Leah's Hello. here. You know, we've got the plants in the background. We are. You'll notice we are literally between two ferns. Um, we've yeah. got all the, all the little Easter eggs and tributes. It's fun. You also have a very amazing and very helpful band leader who has helped you both uh, on the show and off. That's true. I've got it. He's not in the Discord right now, but Elijah should also give credit to uh, my band leader, Adam Nickerson, who usually stands where you are. Like He's like my Paul Schaefer. He's my Max amazing. Weinberg, except he can't play an instrument. He just stands over here and looks, <laughs> and looks the part. <laughs> um, but Adam also does like a, like a, a lot of our technical back end. He 
um, uh, you know, does our YouTube editing and stuff like that. And he's really invaluable to the to the show. Just don't just don't let him know I said that. <laughs> Gary, here's a question for you. Yeah. Uh, you you don't like it when anyone sits in the chair. I don't. Oh yeah, that's the other rule, Adam. You, don't sit. Uh, sorry, Elijah. Don't sit in the, the host chair. I will pull the plug on the whole goddamn stream <laughs> if you sit in that chair. I just wanted to warn you, Elijah. He gets very aggressive. I get very possessive about my host chair, even even when the set is uh, is is dark as it is right now. Yeah. Elijah, what what? And again, we'll talk about it on the show. But I'm curious since I've got you here. Like, what real life talk shows? You must have done a bunch, right? Lord of the Rings and stuff. You must have done them all. All the late night talk shows, the real ones. I feel like. The only show I've never been on, because it's more of a recent, like in the last five years show, mm -hmm. is James Corden's show. Oh, but right. I've but not... you've done The Tonight Show, you've done Letterman, yeah. you've done all of these, right? Yeah. I was too young. I missed Carson. Right. Um, I did Leno back when Leno was on, and uh, I was on um, Letterman once. Right. Yeah. I've, I've been lucky enough to meet a bunch of those dudes. Oh, and um, Ars Arsenio Hall, too. Right? Oh, wow. You were on the Arsenio, but he, but I mean, now you're going back back in the day there as well, right? Was he on like in the 90s? Oh, yeah. That was in, I think it was like 93. Right. What <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what you were promoting? I think it was Huckleberry Finn, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, but shit. I, I didn't I, even know you did that. I don't remember, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> That's that's amazing. Who's I I, I I kind of feel like we're blowing the blowing the interview here because I'm doing asking you all the questions that I would ask you on the show. But I'll just ask you this stuff again. <laughs> I, I, I imagine imagine this is like a very thorough pre-interview because I'm fascinated to ask you these questions. I don't want to wait. What is your um? What was your favorite talk show to go on? Did you did you have like a favorite? Um. Conan is one of my favorites. Oh, he's the uh, best. I love Conan. I've been, I've been on Conan's show since it was late night back in New York all the way to, I don't think I was actually on his iteration of the tonight show. Um, right. I've been on it. Cause I mean, he was only there for like two minutes, right? On the tonight show. Exactly. It was very short. Um, it's not bad for him over that. I, I know it was awful. So did I. And he had, there was a, there's a whole book about that that I read that was like kind of like an oral history of that. And it was called like the war for late night or something. And he really oh, wow. was really shabbily treated. I felt, I felt terrible for him during that whole episode. He was, but my God, did he handle that beautifully. He, very, he, very classy. Yeah, it was very graceful and super classy. Um, but I love I love Conan uh, still. He, he's just one of those guys. I, look, there's a format in Late Night wherein yeah. you, you know, you, you understand the whole thing of like a pre-interview and then you go on the show yeah. and then the, there's a sort of, you have a segment producer that then runs down sort of what that pre-interview has yielded in regards to what right, the, the talking points is going to be so it's, yeah, yeah. Then, then it's talking points and largely you know they want you to tell stories and so you kind of you don't necessarily stick to a script but you stick to guidelines based on what is a predetermined kind of agreed upon set of stories that you're going to tell right and you know they usually want like a funny anecdote or something right sometimes. yeah exactly they want something with a beginning middle and an end so you know it's it can at times feel stressful because you're sort of putting on a performance of sorts. You know, yeah, do you feel not... pressure to be a good guest? Sure. Yeah, every time. But different shows operate differently and different hosts are sort of respond to that, that format differently. And the right. thing about Conan is that you can have, you know, there's this sort of predetermined conversation that you're, you're going to, you're, you're going to hit these beats. But if you, ever break that and just sort of start riffing he will riff with you so there's a real sense of having a genuine conversation i, I yeah. love that about and, 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 and trust me elijah if there's one thing i've learned in the last two weeks you can turn it to your advantage when things go off the rails because that happens here constantly but if you can turn it into comedy then you know it's a win have you had how many how many episodes have you recorded we've done time? eight so far um <laughs> Uh, I know. So, I mean, I guess so like two weeks ago, this literally two weeks ago today is when the show was created. We did our first episode uh, with a, a friend of mine. She's a popular actress and YouTube personality called Naomi Kyle. She's a good friend of mine. And I said, do you yeah. want to, I said, look, we built this set. Do you want to come over and like play dress up and like play talk show and we'll stream it? And yeah. we did it, but it ended up being so much fun 
and we added on theme music and and titles and title cards and stuff and like people people kept saying to us like oh my god like you should keep doing this and i kind of got the bug from doing it and yeah. two weeks later i have this thing that's been in the been in entertainment weekly newsweek in the washington post i'm booked up solid for a month with big celebrity guests like you coming on the show i've got interscope records calling me up trying to get their artists on the show um and and i've got aoc i mean i don't know what I, this, i've created a monster i can no longer control you are a writer by trade right yeah i'm a screenwriter that's my day job right amazing and and right but and right now this is preventing me from doing my actual job i'm like behind on a bunch of stuff right now because this ridiculous yeah. thing has totally taken over my life that is hilarious this is, I'm, it is actually a good time to be a writer. I mean, now in regards to development, you know, obviously nothing's shooting right now, but it's a right. it's a good time to to write. No, it's it is a good time to write, and I'm actually when I before this show came along, I was actually having the most productive period of my life, which was kind of a coincidence. I mean, it's not the, my circumstances apart from having my daughter at home because she's been homeschooling right now, which you know yeah. my wife has really kind of shouldered most of the burden of that. My my life's not I, I sit behind i sat behind a desk before covid i sit behind a desk during it and i'll continue to do that afterwards so i'm still writing um yeah and i've just been really productive just because i've got a bunch of stuff going on right now that's really just been coincidental but and also it helps me you know when i'm writing i'm not thinking about how shitty the world is right now so that actually kind of helps um that's a great yeah outlet. but then this thing came along and has suddenly put me behind the eight ball because this, I, I, Elijah, I'm not kidding. I, I've said this before. There's functionally no difference between what I do here and what Jimmy Fallon does on The Tonight Show. We have no, a no, monologue. No. We have musical guests. You know, we do it all. And we can actually do things that no other talk show can do. Like last week, we had you know, two guests on the couch. Um, and we're all in the same space. I, I'm, I'm sitting on the, uh, behind my desk, but I'm in San Francisco. And Adam, Adam, my band leader, is in Canada. And our two <laughs> guests were respectively sitting on the couch actually in New York City and Montpellier, France. Oh and so, and, and, you know, and only a virtual space can bring you together like that. And I think it's kind of magical. It's amazing. That really is incredible. You guys are in San Francisco? Yeah, we're in San Francisco. Yeah, that's where I've, I've lived here for like 25 years now. It's where I met my oh. wife. Oh, I love the Bay Area, man. It's beautiful. Do you? There. Do you get to spend much time here? Not as much as, as we'd like. Um, we're, we're big fans of the, of the climate, too. Much prefer the Northern California um, climate to, to Southern California. It's too hot down here, man. I'm the same. I, 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 one of the things I like about San Francisco is the climate is kind of like the English climate that I'm used to, but yeah, just just a absolutely. little bit better. So that's perfect for me. Yeah, it, you have a little bit more sun in San Francisco than you do in England, but yeah, it's it, the yeah. cool, the coolness and the overcast days and uh, the yeah, I, but I, I couldn't do. I mean, one of the reasons why I don't live in LA, even though it would be easier for my career to live there, is I, I, I the climate. It's just it's boring. It's the same every day. Yeah. No, it really is. Where are you in LA? Do you have a nice place? Where, where, where are you living? You live in a nice neighborhood? We're on the east side, um, not far from Echo Park. Uh, it's, oh, okay. It, it's great. Um, it is great. It's it's a little too hot in the summertime. Are you um, from um, uh, LA originally? I grew up here, yeah. Okay. I was born in Iowa, but moved here when I was eight years old. So, I mean, by all by all accounts, I am, I am from here. Right, right. Um, so yeah, so in terms of like, like your sound check is good. I know you said you don't have a, a dedicated um, headset or anything, but so you're just coming through the the built-in mic in what a, a, a MacBook or something. What are you using? Yeah, using a MacBook. You say you sound great. Um, I've got your level boosted a little bit. I can do that on this end. I can like boost your levels, and you sound you okay. sound great to me. Um, okay, great. Uh, and what I love about having you on the show is like, I don't need to walk you through the Animal Crossing stuff. Like some of, we've actually, here, here, I'll, I'll let you in on like this. So you've worked with Peter Jackson, right? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, we, I, I, I'm going to let you in a little bit of the Hollywood magic that um, we do over here at Animal Talking. So we, um, we usually, <laughs> I love it. We do. Yes, it is Elijah Wood. Um, he's going to be on the, he's going to be on the show Thursday night and we're just doing a little, little practice run here. Um, I uh, I prefer to have people. Like, so you, I mean, you are in the top tier category of guests for me. Not just because you're well known, but because you genuinely play and love this game. Like you're not putting on a show here. Like I've got a lot. Trust me, I've got so many people trying to get on the show right now because they because it's like in the zeitgeist. It's having a moment, but they don't care, they don't know what Animal Crossing is, and right. that's not my that's not my. You know, I I want people like you 
And without saying, without giving away any names, the other guest that you're going to be on with uh, Thursday night, we talked about this, is also like into yeah. animal. Like, you wouldn't think so, but he's like a real Animal Crossing player. And that's what I love. But we came up with a system. If there's someone we really want to have on the show, like last week you had a musical guest called Raquel Lilly, very talented singer-songwriter. She wanted to come on the show, and I really wanted her to come on because we love musical guests. But she doesn't have Animal Crossing. And you can't even get it right now because Switches are sold out everywhere. Yeah, so what know. we came up with was a system where we actually, what, what, what happens is my wife, Leah, um, whoever's coming on the show, like with Raquel, she basically um, modified her own avatar to look like Raquel and dressed her like Raquel. And, sh and then we can, and we can, so if you want to come on the show, basically, you just provide the voice over Discord and we can, and we can puppet your avatar from this end and match oh, your emotes with oh. what's happening in the chat. Um, yeah, of course, of course. And it's, and it's, and it's kind of cool. And, we're, and, and at the end of um, Raquel's interview, I was like, I don't know, do I want to be the magician who reviews, reveals his tricks? But it was kind of cool what we had done because nobody knew. I said, that's you're obviously you're listening to the real Raquel right now talking over Discord. Um, but the person sitting on the couch is actually my wife in Raquel disguise. And everyone in the chat freaked out like, like David Copperfield had just made the Statue of Liberty disappear or something. <laughs> it was That's really awesome. funny. That's awesome. And yesterday we had three guests on the show. We had Colin Trevorrow uh, from Jurassic World. Um, oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, Emily Carmichael, his co-writer on the movie, and a musical guest by the name of uh, Ryan Miller from a band called Gusta. And none, all of them wanted to come on the show. I wanted them all on the show. None of them had Animal Crossing. So last time, yesterday, we actually did our first ever all puppet show, where Leah was Leah was controlling Collins um, and uh, and uh, Ryan's avatars, and Adam was controlling um, Emily's. And so they all had like these virtual puppeteers. It was it was it was amazing. We're pulling off some yeah, pretty was, crazy stuff over here. Did you? Did you that was a lot of fun. Did you have any chance to talk about Colin's uh, Star Wars film? We well, I you know the so I I made some I made oh you know what the, it's still here Elijah check this out you see this elephant slide over here on the edge that's uh, not that's not normally there on the set I've actually got to remove that because we did the gag already you got to come around okay Elijah come around this way because here's the thing that set is going to block you and when and stupidly when when guests are guests are here I can't move furniture around the set is locked right now. But what sure. you can do is get on this on my host chair and then very quickly vacate it. There you go. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I made a joke with Colin. I said, Colin, look, everyone, everyone's thinking about it. You know, the we've got to, we, we've got to, we've got to talk about the elephant in the room. And I teed it up and then made a joke about, you know, this is the elephant in the room. What do you think of the elephant? And like, it was like a half funny joke. Um, but, but to great. be fair to, because Colin said, like, I, I said, look, I'm not going to ask you to talk about Star Wars because obviously, you know, it's a hot button issue. He said, no, I want to talk about it. And he actually, you know, we had made a little bit of news here on the show. Colin, for the first time, kind of spoke publicly about his experience on episode nine. And he was very gracious and very classy. Um, and uh, I thought he handled it in a, in a, in a very professional way. And uh, good for him. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So let's go back around the, the front here. There you oh. go. Yeah, so we're very proud of this uh, this little set. Um, while you're here, would you like to go shopping or uh, pick any fruit or anything like that? You know, uh, Mikasa Isukasa. Thank you. Elijah, if, if I may, um, what are your turnip prices today? I haven't looked. I haven't looked. At, why? Okay, why don't you care about my turnip prices? I can visit I your island whenever I want. In the Animal Crossing tournament, are you are you suggesting that you can that you can um, visit Elijah's island because he might not want you there? <laughs> Gary, that was cold. I don't know. I'm I, I, I'm not going to make any assumptions on his behalf. El Elijah, how is your island looking? Like, what are you, are you have you been playing it? I, obviously, you made this kind of you went viral a little bit for visiting someone else's island. But have you have you been playing much? Are you like what are your island priorities? Hey, every day. Um, <laughs> I've got my lady on to it as well, so we're, we're both obsessively playing. Um, I, I have done less designing and more just progressing, so I, I haven't done a great deal of, like, designing my the interior of my home. Right. I've just recently... I was a little late, so I just recently got the ability to do you know, terraforming and laying... Uh, roads and paths and things like that. So I haven't even started doing that. I'm trying to sort of amass a ridiculous amount of bells so that I don't even have to think about like, can I afford 
that bridge or right. can I I mean you're, I mean? you're doing it the, you're doing it in the right way the only way to make serious money in this game is in the stock market yep Ooh, wow look at this are you are you are you in the fitting room right now oh yeah let's 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 see like let, let's uh let's see what you're uh what right. you're picking out let's have a look we basically raid we're building a wardrobe department here on the show so that we can dress guests anywhere they want like like trevoro wanted a tuxedo we got him one we can put you in almost anything um okay. and we basically buy everything in able sisters now because we're essentially uh building a wardrobe department for the show oh of course <laughs> It's it's oh, nutty. I, honestly, if you knew some of the stuff that we that we've got down coming down the pike, it's it's totally crazy. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, I told you some of it, uh, but you know, there's, there's even I mean, there's more there's more stuff that we're working on that I think is going to be you know we'll, we'll see. I, I don't know how long this is going to last, but we're having fun with it while it's while it's happening. Were you? Um, I'm curious. Did you? Um, the lockdown. Did you? Has, has that thwarted any of your projects? Were you shooting or preparing to shoot anything when everyone got shut down? Um, we were supposed to start production on a film about two weeks ago. Uh, so yes, we, we were affected, but, um, but aside from physical production, because I have a production company as well, we are in development on a lot of other films that hasn't really stopped the, the development process. So yeah, got... I mean, I, that's where I'm at right now. Development is still kind of full steam ahead because when the lockdown lifts, people are going to need stuff to make. Exactly. So we've, we've got a couple of animation projects that we're developing and uh, some other television projects that we're developing. So there's that particular process is thankfully uh, full steam. It's great. Uh, I do so actually want to I do actually want to talk to you offline about about uh, another thing. We should we should have a separate oh. conversation. Yes, would love that. Oh, my God. I totally um, forgot. Somebody just put in the chat. Where are the where are the over the garden wall fans at? And that really was one of my favorite pieces of animation that I think, honestly, I've ever seen. I loved that goddamn show. And I wish more people had seen it. I know. I love it. It, finds, it seems to find new, new fans every year because Cartoon Network replays it, I think, every holiday season. Yeah, and like, it's on Hulu, I think, the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. It's just so such a beautiful show. Like, so, like, the thing, all the things that I love about this, like, whimsical and just really sweet. I know. I love okay, it. what's this outfit that you picked out? <laughs> just. I'm Does it go to the bike. bad boy? Just a full biker outfit. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking it. Yeah. The 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 zippers in the pants and everything. Right. I'm gonna take these sunglasses. There we go. I really just wanted the jacket. I didn't want the pants or the boots, but I thought, fuck it, for this. You may as well get them. Um, yeah. think, oh, by the way, think about what you want to wear on the show Thursday night. If there's anything you would like to wear but you don't have access to, like I said, we can get you almost anything. I've got a fair amount. Um, so, yeah, I'll have a think in between now and Thursday. Uh, and if there's something I feel like I'm missing. I've got that comedian's jacket, which I find... Oh, we, we have that in every color because, you know, as, as the host of the show, I got, I got to have that kind of stuff. It's pretty great. Do you have all the, do you have all the, you've got it right now. You must have all the flowers and fruits. There can't possibly be anything you need at this point. I'm pretty sure I have everything. What's this flower here? Uh, that I believe is, um, I, I can't tell without picking one. But did, did someone in the chat, what are these? The these tall ones? What are they? Hyacinths. Right. If you want, Elijah, I now, you know, we, we, we've just met. So I don't want, I don't want to, you know, um, uh, freak you out by by pushing this relationship uh, you know, going too fast. But if you want, I'll happily give you. Uh, I trust you. If you want shovel privileges on my island, I will bestow them upon you. Well, that is very kind of you. Should we should we do it? I mean, I'll be. I don't know. Are we ready to make this step? I'll be picking you up at the airport next at this rate. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, sure. We're All right, let's do it. Let's 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 become best friends. Um, Okay, let's see here. Where's my phone? Here we go. Okay, best friends list. All right. Um, uh, let me see. Okay, let's get you over. Where are you? Okay, Elwood. Is El? I'm. Is it this something you came up with for Animal Crossing, or is it like Elwood? Is that is like because a lot of people do this. Like that's just always been your in-game name for as long as you're playing video games and whatever you're playing. Um, it actually goes back. It's got two layers to it it goes back as far as 1997 i worked on a movie called the faculty um, oh of course i love that movie 
A2. Um, and the first AD, I sat down with him uh, on the on like er, early sort of pre-production, and, and um, he's like, I give everyone a, a, on a film a, a, a nickname, and I'm going to nickname you Elwood. Right. So I was out from there on out. But then one of my favorite movies of all time is a movie called Harvey with Jimmy Stewart. Um, and the lead character- Oh, of course, what a great movie. Elwood Dowd. So it's, you know, it's been with me for a long time. What was the what was the Elwood reference to um, Harvey again? Did I miss that? The, the lead character is Elwood Dowd, so Jimmy okay. Stewart's character. Okay, Jimmy Stewart's character. Yeah. I love that movie. He's friends with an invisible rabbit, right? That only uh, he only he thinks he can see. That's right. I love yeah. that movie. Yeah, for my thirtieth birthday, my family had a painting commission. So if you've seen the movie in in the film, uh, his sister receives a package in the mail for Elwood and opens it up, and it's a giant painting of Elwood, and it's the only time you see the rabbit. Um, right. Uh, him and Harvey and my family had an artist commission for that uh, to, to do that painting. So uh, is that so? Again, while you're over here, is I mean, is there anything that you need in terms of uh, like items or recipes? Because again, we have a between uh, between me and and Leah and uh, and Kate and other people and Adam and people that work on the show, we have vast vast resources. So if there's anything you need in terms of um, items, we're of course happy to help you out. Sure, there's nothing that comes to mind. Um, and, and, and 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 obviously that that offer remains open. You know, in the in the future, just you know, feel free to hit me up, and we can always get you something. Awesome! Thanks so much. Want to help? We gotta help. I always say it's not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> so you do this every morning? You do this version like you just play the game for a few hours? I started. You know, I had a Twitch channel about a year ago that I was just kind of goofing around with, and what happened was um, the Book of Eli came out on Netflix. Um, oh, yeah. The movie's about 10 years old now. That's kind of how I, I got started in Hollywood with that movie. And oh, I always God. wanted to do a commentary track for it, but there was never one on the DVD. Um, yeah. And I thought about like doing one as like an MP3 that you could just like kind of sync up with the movie. But then when when the movie came out on Netflix, I thought, well, maybe it'd be more fun to do it as like a live event. And I did it like we, we all kind of synced up the movie together. And I did kind of like a live watch along with like the pages up on the screen. So as we were watching the movie, you kind of see like compared to like a script to screen comparison. And it was super yeah. popular and I kind, of, I kind of got the streaming bug again. And the, but then for a long time, I couldn't figure out like what my channel identity was. I was just kind of like, I, I would do like Q and A's and stuff like that and interview other writers. But it was there was a lot of just kind of goofing around. And then when this game came out, um, I thought, well, look, I'm going to play the game every day anyway, because I'm really hooked on it. I may as well stream it and see if people anybody would watch and that's how animal crossing mornings started and now i do it i play for an hour like an hour an hour and a half every morning and it's turned into a great way for me to start my day like it gets my day off on the right foot because i've played a bit of animal crossing and it just kind of cheers me up and the audience seems to uh, be enjoying it as well that's great and then after you play do you do you, do you go into writing do you have a routine um Ki I mean, I kind of, I, I procrastinate a lot. Uh, I, you know, every writer kind of handles it differently. Like some writers have very, very specific hours that they insist on keeping. Um, yeah. I just, I just kind of, I, I, if I'm on a deadline, it helps. Because when I'm responsible, you know, for someone else's work, uh, I got to, I got to turn in my work. But if it's something I'm just writing for myself, um, it's very easy for me to, you know, think about how much I need to clean the fridge right now or do anything instead of writing. You know what it's like. Sure. Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, let me see. Uh, well, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to your... sell something to this guy. Here we go. Can I ask your opinion on Tom Nook? Because I know a lot of people have a lot of feelings about Tom Nook. Okay. We had a big do argument about this on the show the other day. A hatred? No, I love Tom Nook. Why, why would Elijah Wood hate anyone? That's... Like, it's hard to believe that, that you have negative feelings for anyone. A lot of people really just don't like him, and I don't understand it. He provides you an interest-free loan with no payback schedule. Yeah, pay it back. Like, I, I've said this before. Any, I, 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 will, I will engage with people on Twitter over this. People go, oh, Tom Nook, what a scumbag. I'm like, okay, find me someone else, especially in this economy, who will give you an interest-free mortgage without any credit checks or backgrounds or references and then like pay it back whenever you like or never. Yeah. I mean, yeah, come yeah. on. 
And then you never have to pay the last one back because he builds it before you pay him. Right. Um, that's the other thing is that he'll actually build before you pay. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think Tom Nook, I, I think he's a decent guy. His, his nephews are lovely. Um, I've never had a, I've never had a problem with them. <laughs> Have you? Is your is your house fully upgraded on the island, Elijah? I imagine it is. If you've been playing as much as you said. It's not fully. I just upgraded to a. Let's see, my third additional room. Okay. So I have what? Uh, two or three more upgrades left. So I need an upstairs, a downstairs, and a downstairs. Yes. Right? So eventually, you've got three rooms off the living room on the ground floor, and then an upstairs and a downstairs. Exactly. So I have two more, two okay. more upgrades remaining. Okay. I'm curious on the uh, how many uh, how much did you make on that on that bell visit that ended up becoming like a viral thing? On that one, it was I think it was 1.2 million. It's not bad. It's respectable. It's not bad. It wasn't insane. The last one I made 1.4. It's it's because I'm not buying enough bells. I think I only bought 2,000 each time. Right. It's a whole hassle. Like when I buy turnips from Daisy May, I have to clear out my whole inventory so I can buy, you know, fill every slot. I have to figure out exactly how much money I need. I have to do the math. And then, you know, going to someone else's island can be a bit of a, a bit of a hassle. It can. And turnips actually take up a fair amount of space in your inventory. They do. And you actually get dinged on your island rating for that, for having too many items laying around. Right. That's why I like to make a quick sale. If I haven't sold my turnips by Tuesday, I start to worry. <laughs> <laughs> what does our life become? I don't know. I, honestly, though, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm happier here than I am in the real world. Yeah, right. Far happier. The worst thing Where that can happen San here, Elijah, is you get stung by a wasp. Where in San Francisco do you guys live? Uh, we live in an area called Parkside, which is like there's the inner sunset, the outer sunset, and Parkside is like the last area before you hit the ocean. Yeah, we're very close to the ocean. Oh, that's like so two blocks from the ocean. That's it's a nice quiet spot. It's very residential. Yeah, it's nice. It's quiet, quiet streets. Um, yeah, but you know, but we're like, we, we can we're hear the howler monkeys. Yeah, when we're they right them. on the very, very, very edge of the city, but we're also two blocks from a bus, a bus uh, stop that will get you like downtown in twenty minutes. So it, it works out pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I want to sell. Come on, Timmy. Um. Uh, Oh, and the other, I, I don't know if I remember, I think this was in the packet of info that I sent you, Elijah, just to be sure, I do ask, um, unless you're uncomfortable doing it, of course, we always respect our guests. Um, at the end of the show, we ask all of our guests to step up to the microphone and tell a joke. And the, and the worse oh, the joke right. is, the better. Sure, okay. okay. I will make sure right. I have it prepared. We have, we've actually had guests busted on this show for repeating jokes, because you know what they do? They literally went on to Google and typed the word jokes and just read the first joke that they found. And so we had I'm I'm right here. I know you're right here. So I'm right here. This is what this is what Kate did. And then okay. someone else came on and said this is what happened. So Colin, who uh, who remember who it was? It wasn't Colin. Jerry. It was okay, so Jerry from Penny Arcade came on, told a joke, and this is and this is the just to give you a baseline, Elijah, this is the the um the joke that he told. What's so great about living in Sweden? Switzerland. Oh, sorry. What's so sorry? I, I'm gonna go. So, Elijah, what's yeah. what's so good? What's so great about living in Switzerland? I don't know. What's so good about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason why Kate told that joke and the reason she got busted is Jerry. Jerry told the exact same joke, and I said, Jerry, we've already had that joke on the show, and he says, I don't know. I just googled jokes, and that's the first thing that came up. And that busted Kate as well, because then we found out how she got the joke. Further context, I told a joke that I researched because it was it had to do with language and writing, and I thought as a writer you would appreciate it. You booed me and told this, me it was a bad this, joke. This retconning of history is not going over. I'm not but I'm not buying any of this. We have video footage, um, but then as, you made me the Google EP, a new I'm joke. Siding with Kate here. Of course, of course you, you of course and you two are gonna I side said. with each other. Everyone always sides <laughs> well, against me. While we were live on the show, I said, okay, I'm going to Google a new joke. And you laughed way more at the top joke on Google than the one that I spent time researching. Hey, Kate, I've got you boosted, but your levels are very low. You're relatively quiet compared to the other people in the chat. 
I turned myself up. Okay. Um, hey, Elijah, have you been over to Red's Treasure Trawler yet? Have you been buying any artworks or anything like that? Um, I have, yeah. How often does he show up? I've only, I bought a piece of art and he has not shown up. In that is, I'm still, I, I think it might be once a week, but it might also be like just whenever. Like he's a man, he, you know, he's a man of mystery. Uh, yeah, I, I bought the first thing that he sold me, which I knew based on a little bit of reading was not a fraud. Yeah, I got a, I got a website up from Polygon that tells you how to spot the fraud. So it's been very handy. Yeah, well, I've just been, I've just been pulling up on Google searches the right the uh, the, actual, the original art, yeah. And I've been just doing an A to B, uh, and it's pretty amazing how subtle some of the differences are, actually. Oh yeah, some of them are really well hidden. I mean, some are obvious, like the Mona Lisa, anyone can see that, but some of them are, are way more um, uh, tricky to spot. And then some of them, I, I, some of them are actually always genuine or always fake. Um, Oh, which right. is which is useful as well. But yeah, I've got, I, I bookmarked a little site from Polygon that just like is a dummy's guide that just says, look, yeah, this one's fake, this one's real, and it points out the, and it points out the difference. That's awesome. But yeah, I haven't been scammed yet. I probably am deliberately going to buy some fake artwork from him though, just just to, like hang in my in my house. I don't care if it's fake. Oh yeah, of course, right? Because you don't have to donate it. You can just hang it up. Yeah, some so the, the original stuff I will donate, but um, the. Uh, the fakes I'm happy to hang in my house. I don't care. Did you see that video that someone put together? Someone sent me this uh, two days ago. Of, of it, it was it was fake. I mean, it was fake in the sense that it, it's sort of like what fans and and players hope there would be in an update. Um, but it was this video of, of uh, updates that are coming to the uh, to Animal Crossing. Have you yeah. seen this? Oh, that's oh very yeah. Good. And like Adam won't let me watch it because he knows it's going to upset me too much. Because I incredible. hate the Animal Crossing interface so much. It's literally every single thing, except for, in my opinion, uh, one of the greatest mistakes of the game is not having a secondary camera. Right. So the fact that you can't rotate your camera is so maddening. Especially because oh, you'll get yeah. stuck on trees and you can't see what's behind the tree. So the fact that there's not a 3D roaming camera is insane to me. But, um... It, it literally, this video chronicles absolutely every single thing the game needs. Like, I mean, and there is, and what, 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 what baffles me, Elijah, and I come from the video game world. I used to be the editor of PC Gamer Magazine back in the day. And I, so I, I still work as a consultant on video games, so I think about this stuff all the time. It wow. baffles me that Nintendo, who are so good at making video games, and that this game is wonderful, they make so many rookie mistakes in the user interface. Like, to think, like absolutely baffling choices. Oh, completely. The fact that you can't, you don't have a square that you can place on the ground in terms of where you want to dig. Oh my god, don't don't even get me started. Item is crazy. Yeah, I need a little preview tile. The amount of times I place something and then have to, to pick it back up again, or, or like plant something and dig it back up again. because it's Oh, it's the, uh, I'm telling you. I literally have on my little stream deck here, which is like a little gadget I use to kind of play sounds on the stream. I have yeah. like spam, like Zen spa music queued up because I, 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 I need to, I need to chill. Like the interface makes me want to smash the fucking computer. I'm um, wondering if there will eventually be some of these updates though, because obviously people are pretty upset about. It. You know, with any other developer, with any other company, I would say yes because it's obvious they have to do it. With Nintendo, you just never know. They make so many strange choices. You're right. You're right. And they're kind of weirdly impenetrable. Like they, they right. make things and they're not necessarily accessible. To yeah, like the, the, their online stuff has always been weird. The transiting off and off the island is like aggressively bad. Um, it really is. <laughs> it's so bad. And like, it's you know, charming. there's so many, like every time I go to the airport now, I just put the Zen music on like preemptively because I know I'm going to get pissed off. Um, but like, you know, just simple things like, okay, do you do you want to fly to someone else's, do you want to fly to someone else's island? Click yes. Okay, let's do that. But then instead of flying to the island, I for some reason then have to hit the button again. Yes, let's do the thing that I already agreed to. Like, it makes no sense to me. I know, it's maddening. It's, it's maddening. The, oh, and like my favorite one, when you go to Able Sisters, I could buy multiple items, but only one item in each slot. Like I can buy a jacket, pants and shoes, but I can't buy two jackets. 
Uh, Why can't I just click on all the things that I want to buy and put them in a shopping cart? It, it's insane. Or when you buy bulk items, like, why can't you choose how many of the bulk? Why is it a set five? Why oh. can't it be three? Why can't it be seven? It's insane. And, and so many of these choices seem to be, like, totally arbitrary. Like, there's, I, can't, I can't discern, like, the game design ethos behind them. Oh, yeah, and, and, and that's another one from Adam. Crafting bulk items. Like, how oh, many fish bait would you like to craft? Ten, please. Oh. Oh my god, I have literally, yeah, I think the most fish bait that I've crafted in, in a single setting was 20. And it's just one after another. It's the right. most retarded process. And you just gotta like, sit there and it's so laborious. The only, the only rationale I can assign to it is that Nintendo is kind of like the Fisher Price of video games, right? Like all their designs are, are, are meant to be super kid friendly. Absolutely. And I think even though it's, even though it's painful and slower, they just don't want kids to be baffled by like a whole range of options. They just, they want to keep it as like dumbed down and simple as possible. But for people like us, like overgrown children that, that know how to navigate interfaces better, we're kind yeah. of throttled by the childlike settings that they describe to the game. That's true. I would love to be able to close the airport gates from oh, my phone don't get me anywhere started. on the island. Why can I, okay. Use my phone, call the door. Explain this to me. Why can I not get money out of the ATM if the airport gate is open? What's that, what, what kind of sense does that make? Oh, that, I guess I've never tried. That's I have come this, I have come this close to just like smashing the TV and sending the bill to Nintendo. Like, this was your fault, you pay for it. Guys, I think I gotta run. No, I, I, Elijah, I'm so uh, pleased that you the, the, that you were able to spend a bit of time over here. Um, thank you for having me, and thanks. This was actually super helpful. I'm glad I. No, I love it. So you're all, you're all good. We know what we'll again. Basically, we'll talk about exactly what we talked about um, uh, today. We'll talk about it more on on Thursday when you're on the show. You just need to yep. be over here like a little bit, like 30 minutes before the show starts. Um, yep. And uh, you'll be. I think you're going to be our second our second guest. Uh, and uh, you're going to be great. I'm really excited to have you. I'm super excited to be on your show. Oh this my god, is gonna it's going to be. be we're going to get a big audience. Like Twitch will probably put this on the front page. Like, and I, and I wasn't kidding. Like when, uh, when I asked people like who is the guest you would most want to see on the show, like you were by far the most popular uh, choice. Aww, yeah. Really oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. The, the audience loves you, and you're going to be great. Um, Elijah, thank you so much for visiting the island. It's been great to have you. Look forward to having you on Thursday night. Uh, we're going to have Thanks. a lot of fun. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. Have a great weekend. Right. And happy you too. Talk to you later, buddy. Okay, it was bye. great to meet you, Elijah. You as well. Take care. Bye. bye.